Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Scott, Machine Gun Dad. We're going to do a little comparison today between a Chinese SKS and an Egyptian Rashid. Uh, my helper has never shot the Rashid. He shot the SKS, but I let him shoot my SKS just to, uh, you know, do for comparison. So, assuming I can A, make it work, and B, hit the target, I'm going to try this SKS out. I like these guns. I'm gonna be back. We'll let uh, Fidel take it for a ride. Got the Rashid. I'm going to shoot it and then we'll let Fidel shoot it and then we'll be inside to tell you what we think about him. Here's down because 762 rocks your world here. Okay, we'll let Fidel shoot it. Uh, Hushin. We're just outside with the uh, Rashid and the SKS and um, basically we're not going to go through an in-depth difference between the two or take them apart. This is just a shooting impression. The only thing I will point out on both these the weapons is the SKS has your traditional safety and the Rashid has this completely bastardized safety which is uh, a carryover from the Hakeem rifle. So, you know, basically they were thinking if they, if you were taught to shoot with the Hakeem and you trans transitioned to this, you still had your same safety, even though the manual arms is completely different. Okay, I did my talking. We'll let Fidel tell you what he thinks. Um, I have a handful of AKs or SKSs myself. Uh, good shooting overall. Uh, Altogether a good rifle. Recommend anyone pick one up. First time I shot this guy, uh, I'd say I really liked it. it. Had that weird stovepipe, uh, which you guys would see on the range video. Uh, but other than that, I like I said, I'd like to get one. Without being too critical, if you watch the video, he sh he stands straight up and down when he's shooting. He's not leaning into the gun. I don't think he was given a quite enough shoulder for it to operate against because um, I have the gas down on this a little bit. It, I don't know if I told you this no. adjustable gas system. I have the gas down on this a little bit to save wear and tear on it because I can't get parts. Right. Whereas SKS is, you, Chinese SKS is, you can always get parts. Yes. So, you would definitely own an SKS, you own one, right? I have two. Would you own one of these, you think? Yes. If, you had, if one came up? Yes. Yeah. They are, this is a very unique piece of history. And only that it's a it's a pretty fun piece of history um the trigger we're going around on the range we talk, i like the trigger on the rashid better because it still has that creepy military take up but at least on my examples it breaks crisper than my narinko does the narinko is gritty even when it's going off 
Um, and no, I don't polish parts. I just don't even suggest that because I don't do that. If you get a chance to shoot a Rashid, friend has one, there's one on the rental range, by all means, try it out. I think you'll really enjoy it. I got let he got a chance to shoot something that was a piece of history. You just don't get a chance to shoot very often. Thanks for coming to the channel.